Today I'm going to bring you guys a uh, very different what I've noticed in the world today. There's a lot that I have been absorbing, what I've been feeling. I told the Father, I told Mother Earth, feed me your information that I can use. Analyze everything around for me to release in this video. And it did. I felt many connections, what the devils are capable of. Control, distraction, attacks, anything they can get their dirty hands on. There are many things they can do to distract the whole world. Business. If you're a developer of whatever it is and always receive false or negative feedback. Lucifer is a type of person and the devils, they're all about making sure you fail at your own business life. If you're somebody like myself who releases things for videos, he would send people to attack you. Anything around he can use. He uses it all against you. But one thing for sure, the devil has never been known to do, is reveal himself. Ancient times have always been just like our world. We don't know what's going on. And life still continues forward. There was so much peace. The only time when something happens is when somebody behaves violently. That is the only way Lucifer and the rest trigger to have access to the world. But in order to do that, they must put the man or woman through a sinful path in order to trigger an axis in the people to manifest. In this case, he's done many of that. He cannot have access unless the person has sinned, the worst of the worst, forgotten. That is the only way he can trigger the person's body, man or woman. Because believe me, every woman, every man have followed the path of sin. And when it comes to distraction, whether you're a believer or not, he will find ways to have you focus on something else. So you never pay attention to or speaking the Lord's name. How do you think back in the days when the disciples used to enter places, villages, to cities to speak the Lord's word. Back in the Roman times, when a disciple wants to speak, when he had the first time visited by the Father, that is when the, de the devil and his demons, they enter that place to make sure you don't get far. That's always been his thing, to make sure no one knows. That's why Lucifer likes to keep himself in the shadows all times. Our world is similar, but different. Our world is our world. Where Lucifer and the rest are in a whole different, darker world, of course. They once roamed this world, but they vanished ma vanished magically that's why we don't see them because they were banned from our reality due to the fact what they have created I'm not saying they walked here on flesh they've only walked here magically supernatural 
we do live in a supernatural world as we speak. We just don't see it or know it. But I would challenge those out there who don't believe. One of these days, get a Bible. And I mean really grab the Bible. Read a page. And once you read that page, and as you're getting into the mood to really read, I want you to ask one word. Is the devil real? That is my challenge. How many of you out there are willing to accept that challenge? Those who are not believers. Let's find out. Now, I know I've been getting a lot of tags through comments. I took some of those comments. I decided to delete some disrespectful ones that I don't need to see. Because even I know the devils are no match. Not even the demons. Demons are more afraid of me than anything else. No matter how much they try to see what they could do. Because devils are the more of the types that will say something. The demons are more like messengers. Spies, of course. But still not, not enough to say I should worry about it. I might be the only disciple around who's capable of handling things that's strange. And attacks, too. But I want to say something. Due to a, I allowed Lucifer to have access to my body and mind a couple of days back. A few days, actually. God told me I have to be careful because Lucifer can use me. And I could end up saying God's name in vain. And yes, that's true. But I've always been about risk. I've always have been. But we want I want to get something straight. Lucifer said some things that really got me thinking a lot. Yes, we both live in different worlds. He's in the other side. I'm over here. But the one thing that he did kind of... make point even though I don't care there's nothing I can do about it but when his ego kind of comes through and says that he could beat me let's be honest I want to ask all the heavens how many of you think if I lived in ancient times how many of you guys think I could beat Lucifer? I see a vision of many people nodding their heads and raising their hand. That's because they know I have what it takes. And I'll be damned if he thinks that I don't have what it takes. If God would have told me, give me the opportunity, are you worthy to go head to head against Lucifer? If we were all in ancient times, I'd definitely say this. I am definitely worthy. And I can guarantee you, I'll stand right above him and hold my blade. I'm definitely worthy of defeating the devil, no matter what he says. But one thing for sure, I don't need to say anything else I'd rather let Lucifer and his followers embarrass themselves we came this far 2023 and still he does what he does and I've been hearing the chains of these fallen angels rattling in my head like right now something tell me that I feel there was more to the story what happened between Lucifer and the rest of these four angels it's clear and from every information I've ever gotten about Lucifer's past is true he did part ways he felt the way he felt. 
But now, we put everything in clothes. That's for sure. So I will end this video because I know I can go on and on and mention so much. Let the attack in the comment section begin. Let's see how many of Lucifer's puppets attack my videos. Because believe me, if you start attacking my videos with anything to say or mock, I know who you are within. That's all you need to know. Anyways, God bless you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You can call this video as a testimony or whatever you want to call it. That's all I can say. For all the believers out there, be strong, stay positive always. We have gone through a sinful path and now it's time for us to cleanse ourselves. God bless you guys.